quick revision video on acid anhydrides. So we'll start off by saying what they are. They're two carboxylic acids minus a water molecule. So there's two generic carboxylic acids and all we're going to do is take out a water molecule, so an H and an OH, and join them together and we get that. It's worth noting that the R groups can be the same or different and if they are different it's known as a mixed anhydride. And I'm going to look at both on the next slide. So some examples now and we'll have a go at naming them. So if you want to pause the video, have a think about the names and then play when you're ready. So the first one, we've essentially got two ethanoic acids that have been joined together. So that's called ethanoic anhydride and its structural formula looks like that. So the two CH3CO groups put in a bracket, we double that and there's that bridging oxygen in the middle outside the bracket. The next one, that's made from two benzoic acid molecules, so that's called benzoic anhydride and its structural formula would look like that. And the last one, that's obviously a mixed anhydride. So we've got methanoic acid here, or what was methanoic acid, and ethanoic acid here. But we've got to bring the alphabet rule into play, so it's actually called ethanoic methanoic anhydride. I very much doubt you'd get something like that, but just in case, I've put it in the video. And its formula, its structural formula, would be something like that. So the only reaction specified on the syllabus is the one where they use to make esters, so we'll have a look at that now. So when you take an acid anhydride and alcohol, you make an ester and a carboxylic acid. So that's different to the classic esterification reaction between a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. You don't need any heat for this one, and you don't need the concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst. And another difference is it's not reversible. So in the first example, we'll look at a symmetrical acid anhydride where the carboxylic acids were the same. So if you want to have a think about that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready. So the ester we're going to make, well, we're going to take this group here, this acyl group here, and we're going to take the alkyl group and the O, and so we're going to make ethyl ethanoate, and what's left over is the hydrogen on the alcohol and this part of the acid anhydride and so we're going to get ethanoic acid. So we'll finish with the mixed anhydride so again if you want to pause and play on when you're ready. So hopefully you've realised there are two possible combinations of ester and carboxylic acid. So for the first combination we'll take that acyl group from the acid anhydride and remember it's going to combine with this part of the alcohol. So the combination we're going to get are these two here. So we're getting ethyl, methanoate and ethanoic acid. Remember this part here will combine with that hydrogen there. So for the second combination we're going to take this acyl group for our ester and obviously combine it with the alkyl group from the alcohol. So we're going to get these two substances. So now we're getting ethyl ethanoate and methanoic acid.